Hello and welcome to the Peak District at Mill and Mighty Hike 2022. I've just set off and I'm 0.7 miles into the hike. If you follow my channel for a little while, you know that I signed up to last year's, which got cancelled because of COVID. So I'm here in 2022 doing the Mighty Hike. It's just over 26 miles. I'm doing it in memory of my beautiful mum who I lost two years ago to cancer. Thank you so much to anyone who has donated over the past few weeks. Um, it really does mean a lot. I think so far we have donated nearly 600 quid, which is absolutely amazing. I will leave a link in the description if you do want to uh, make a donation still. But yeah, we started just outside of Ashbourne and as you can see, it's a really nice day. There isn't a breath of wind, a bit of cloud cover, which is nice, so it's not going to be too hot today. And yeah, I'm nearly a mile in. So the route starts in Ashbourne and it makes its way through the White Peak all the way up to Bakewell which is where we'll be finishing and where my legs will be very tired by the time we get there. And like it says in the name, it is a hike. It's not a race, it's not a run. However, I do want to challenge myself and I want to put myself into that pain cave. So I'm going to be walking quite fast, I think, doing a bit of a power hike. I mean, yeah, we'll just see how I'm feeling and take each mile as it comes. And the plan is I'll probably catch up with you every few miles, let you know how I'm feeling, where I am, how everything's going. Should be an absolutely fantastic day. It's for an amazing cause. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Should be a brilliant day. in and I think every three miles is when I'll be checking in. So far feeling absolutely fantastic, legs feel fresh. We are 40 minutes in, I think I'm roughly doing around 13 to 15 minute miles which I reckon is the pace I'll try and keep at so then hopefully I can finish it in around six to seven hours which I'll be really happy with. I know it's not a race but I still want to uh, challenge myself like I said and one of the nice things that they've done at this event is everyone has set off in waves so I think the first wave I'm not 100% but I think it was really early in the morning I had a 9.50 a.m. Uh, start time, so it's quite late on. So it's a really nice spread out field, so you're not bunched up in big groups, which is really nice. But yeah, as you can see, really nice countryside at the moment, and it's only going to get nicer the closer we get to Bakewell. And I'll make sure that I show you all of the beautiful views. I'll tell you a little bit about the kit I'm wearing in the next catch up I have, because um, I'm sure a few of you are interested in that. Bang on six miles on the watch, bang on six miles on the trail. Still going nice and strong, feeling really good. And we've now made it onto what I presume is an old disused railway line. So it's a really nice trail, nice and flat. I'm sure there's gonna be some hills later on in the route as we get deeper into the Peak District. Great to see so many friendly faces out, lots of people saying, well done, keep going. It's really nice. So like I said, last time I caught up with you, I'll quickly just go through what I'm what kit I'm wearing. So I'm wearing the top which they gave me, which is a really nice kind of 
synthetic top wicks the sweat really well perfect for doing uh, this sort of activity so i've actually decided to wear my running vest today it's my larger 12 litre one i just love wearing these because it's not like a rucksack where it kind of digs into your shoulders a little bit and it kind of wobbles around this just sits really nice on your body and um, it's really supportive all over your body there's no areas which kind of hold more weight really nice for this sort of thing and i can easily access my water bottles and i've got my hydro pack in the back as well and then i'm wearing normal shorts and i've got the hoka speed goat fives on today which are primarily an ultra marathon shoe um, so they're a trail running shoe essentially they're really cushioned and have a really nice grip on them so perfect for this sort of long distance a lot of people will be wearing walking boots today which is brilliant if you want that kind of ankle support but for me i just love having something cushioned on my feet for this sort of flat terrain for a long distance so yeah that's basically what i'm wearing and my little uh, varga bucket hat which is amazing i absolutely love varga hats especially this bucket hat that they've just released the next time i check in i'll go through fluid and nutrition that i brought with me today i just thought this would be a good idea to do so if you're watching this video and you're doing a mighty hike later on in the year or next year i thought it'd be a good idea to go through what i'm wearing so that if you're doing a mighty hike soon or next year you know you might pick up a few tips and uh hopefully it'll help you out a little bit but anyway i'm gonna crack on 6.23 miles around 20 left to go station topped up the water had some pineapple which is top tier aid station food top tier that and watermelon didn't have watermelon but pineapple beautiful and we are now just approaching eight miles and right in front of me is thought cloud well and truly in the proper peak district now stunning little spot of thought cloud somewhere that i actually haven't ever done a video for the youtube channel I think that might have to come to a channel soon, as it is a stunning part of the peaks. Luckily, I don't think we have to go up it. I think we go around it, which is nice. But yeah, feeling fresh, feeling good. Just under 20 miles left to go. I'll catch up with you in a bit. So we're out of the really busy crowded area now and it is absolutely stunning down here really enjoying this little stretch through the dales so i thought i'd have a little chat about what kind of fluid and nutrition i've got with me so i've got two 500 ml bottles here filled in there is water with electrolyte tablets so i've been sipping on that throughout just to keep on top of my electrolytes and then in the back i've got a 1.5 liter water bladder um, which is just plain water in there so loads of water i've just been topping these up at the aid station so far food and nutrition wise 
I have got SIS uh, energy gels. Um, I have like one or two of them an hour, depending on how I'm feeling. And I've got some Chai Charge bars and some Cliff energy cereal bar things. And I nibble on about half of one of them every hour or so. My body doesn't react very well to eating kind of loads of heavy foods when I'm doing something active and long. Try and stick to the gels and then I'll have like a bit of solid food throughout. And that's pretty much all I'm carrying. And then at the aid stations, I'll have a bit of pineapple, a bit of watermelon. And if I need some more calories, I might have some crisps or uh, maybe a cereal bar or maybe a sandwich, but very rarely. Um, so yeah, that's the nutrition that I've got with me. And because I'm training for ultra marathons at the moment, I've had quite a lot of trial and error with nutrition and food. And everyone reacts differently to different gels, different foods. So I recommend if you're training for something like this or something long distance, go out on a few longer hikes, longer runs, and test out some different energy gels and different nutrition options because everyone has a different body and different people react to kind of different foods. So that's just a little tip. But yeah, still feeling good. We are 10 miles in now, so double figures. And there's a load of people coming towards me. So I'm gonna crack on. station as well top of the water bottles feeling good legs have got a little bit of fatigue now but overall we're doing all right so i think we are now according to my watch nearly at 16 miles so we're nearly in the single figures to go which is nice to know that section through all the dales through biggin dale i forget what some of the other ones are called it really is just beautiful down there i love it um, very busy today and i have done a youtube video there before actually for a little section of it it was one of my first videos i ever uploaded it was the hartington circular walk it really is beautiful down there but it's nice to be back out in the open with some breeze as it was quite warm down there and muggy so yeah all going well hamstrings holding up which is the positive left foot is there uh, got a bit of pain quite often get a bit of issues with my arches because i've got super high arches i do have uh, some special insoles in there to help with that so it should be all right usually comes and goes when i do something long other than that we're all good so i'm gonna crack on now i'll probably catch up with you around mile 20 as we're approaching 16 miles and then we'll just have seven miles to go now we just passed the last aid station 
Last top up of water, had a bag of salted popcorn. I'll tell you what, that was much needed. Really, really nice. The salt, oh, needed that big time. Mile 20, just over six miles to go now. Heading towards Yule Grieve. And then from there, it's the last few miles into Bakewell. Feeling really good. Legs are still feeling all right. I'm just pushing through now. Doing all this for mum. I want to kind of put myself through some sort of pain because she went through a hell of a lot more pain than this. Um, I've spoke about my mum briefly on the channel when I first signed up to this event over a year ago. For those of you who don't, didn't know her, she was absolutely incredible. She was a superwoman. I don't think anyone ever had a bad word to say about her. She was so kind, always had a smile on her face. She was my best friend and I miss her to this day. And one way I've coped with it is being in the outdoors. As you'll know, I do a lot of stuff in the outdoors and it is pretty much my happy place. It's the place I feel closest to her. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in the outdoors together. She was incredibly fit and healthy. So yeah, I'm doing it for her today. Thank you so much if you have donated any money. McMillan do amazing work with families and people who are living with cancer. Um, so they help support them. Uh, they do so much amazing work. You, you can see more on their website as to what they do exactly. But it's an incredible charity. Yeah, I'm really happy that I've raised nearly 600 quid for them so far. Because it will be put to very good use. So yeah, mile 20 few miles to your grieve now I'm gonna crack on and I'll probably catch up with you just before the finish line straight cruising headed for bruising watching out for number one you gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. Where you're going, you can rest your head. Where you're going, brightness looks. hopefully with a pint. Legs still feeling good. It's been an absolutely fantastic day. The weather has been perfect. The scenery has been beautiful. Everyone's been so friendly. So yeah, it's been an absolutely fantastic day so far. And the volunteers for this event, I don't think I've ever been to an event that's been so well organized where the volunteers are so friendly. There's hundreds of them, it seems. So yeah, big shout out to them. They are absolute legends. Keeping everyone going, keeping everyone's spirits high. Awesome people. But anyway, I'm going to crack on last mile. This looks big Where you're going Truth cannot be hidden You gotta get going Something, be the star, you gotta get going. 